Okay, well, welcome everyone, and thank you for taking the time to learn about tuition and our financial aid program here at Faith Lutheran. My name is Al Siciliano, and I'm the Chief Financial Officer here. Uh, just a little bit about myself. I've worked my entire career in finance, uh, accounting, investments, etc. And one of my claims to fame, I'll have you know, is that I am actually really tight with Warren Buffett. As you can tell here from this picture, at, at the top there's Warren, or the back of Warren's head, and at the bottom, that's me. And so this is proof positive that him and I are tight. <laughs> Seriously, though, I do have a passion for finance, and we'll try and make this as uh, interesting as possible for you. So without any delay, let's jump right in. How do you apply for admissions? How do you get started? Well, you go to the online application at faithlutheranlv.org, head over to the admissions tab. There is a $50 testing fee to complete the application, except during the month of October, in which case we waive that fee. What does it cost to enroll? Well, the annual enrollment fee is $1,000. For each additional student, it's $700. So hypothetically, if you have two, it's going to be $1,700 for enrollment, not $2,000. If you have three, $2,400, etc. Enrollment fees are generally non-refundable. There is one exception if you're moving out of state, in which case we just require notice prior to August 1st and documentation. Uh, is required. When do you pay your enrollment fees? Well, after being accepted, the enrollment fees and the signed enrollment contract are due within 30 days, if you're accepted by April 1st. If you're accepted after April 1st, those fees are due within 14 days. Uh, both the enrollment contra uh, contract and those paid fees are required for a student uh, to be considered enrolled. How much is tuition? Well, tuition for the 2021 school year was $13,150. For the 2021-22 school year, the final amount is actually pending our board of director approval, but we normally see an annual increase of in a range of about 3 to 5%. That would put tuition at right around $13,600 for 21-22. Uh, keep in mind there's also an additional cost for textbooks, 150 to 250, uniforms 150 to 300, and optional student activities. Uh, the way I look at, at tuition, so from my perspective, while it's likely a significant cost for many of us, I do view it as a value proposition. The value that you receive for your dollar in terms of the student activities, the safety and security, uh, the spirituality aspect of Faith Lutheran, the beautiful campus, all of its facilities, all of those things have tremendous value and, and it is substantial. So that's kind of the way I look at it. We'll talk a little bit more in the next slide about uh, managing the monthly cost. So uh, moving uh, to that topic, when is tuition due? Well, tuition uh, can be paid in either one, two, or ten monthly installments beginning in July. Uh, it's roughly $1,360 a month if you were choosing ten installments uh, for the 21-22 school year. Uh, so again, you can pay all at once or in two installments, which would be July uh, and January, or ten installments uh, uh, from July through April. There is no financing fee if you choose 10 installments, but there's also no discount if you choose to pay it all on January 1st. You choose the payment due date of either the 1st, 10th, or 20th of every month. All right, so how do you pay your tuition? Tuition and fees are paid through Smart Tuition. They are a third-party website. We require all of our families to set up a Smart Tuition account at enrollment and that account must be maintained throughout the year with a valid form of payment uh, while your student is enrolled. So we encourage all payments to go through SMART. However, if you want to pay in the office instead, our office is open Monday through Friday except holidays from 7.30 to 4 o'clock. Um, but we do ask that you 
pay five days or at least five days prior to your smart tuition automatic payment date. Otherwise, there could be some crossover or duplicate payments. All right, so this next portion will focus on our financial aid program. So how do you apply for financial aid? We open the online applications on January 1st every year. Uh, do not try and apply before a, uh, January 1st as you'll be applying for the wrong year. The deadline is April 1st. We did change that um, this past year to May 1st because of the unique nature uh, of our opening. But generally speaking, that deadline is April 1st. You want to start by logging in to faithlutheranlv.org under the admissions tab. Then click on the tuition and financial aid link. And that will take you, if you go down the page, you will see at the bottom, there will be a little yellow box that says financial aid application. Once you click that, you're going to be redirected to factsmgt.com. And that's where you will pay your $35 application fee and get started. We do require your tax returns to be sent in and uploaded for the most recently completed tax year. You can choose to complete the application and then insert your tax return later. Uh, but again, that will be required for all applicants to complete the process. All right, so eligibility. This is an important one. How is eligibility determined? Well, eligibility is facilitated through facts. As we mentioned, they are that third-party processor. They are widely used across the country by private schools and other organizations to evaluate financial need. It's sort of an elaborate process. I consider it to be very, very fair and equitable. It uh, attempts to calculate each family's financial need um, and factors included there in that calculation are your income, a percentage of your liquid assets, reasonable household expenses, including tuition. So tuition counts towards your reasonable expenses. A common sort of misconception is that we only look at income, uh, but there are those variety of factors involved to include your family size. So, so it is a very fair process. Uh, in my opinion. I also think it's a great opportunity to, to kind of kill two birds with one stone. Number one, you'd be filling out your uh, financial aid application, but at the same time it serves as a great opportunity for all of our families to sort of look at their financial situation, maybe even budget out uh, their expenses for the year, and uh, Quicken is a, a great product to help with that, but, but you can just use a uh, pencil, pencil and a piece of paper. Uh, my wife and I do it uh, once a year. It normally morphs into uh, us complaining that the other person spends too much money, <laughs> but uh, it is a good opportunity to discuss uh, your financial situation and plan out your year. So uh, it can be very helpful in that regard. Now we do closely review all of these applications. Uh, we look at them with a fine-tooth comb. We ask a lot of questions. So please make sure that your application is completed thoroughly, completely, and honestly, and in good faith. Very, very important. So who can apply for financial aid? Parents or legal guardians of the student, um, generally not grandparents unless they're the legal guardians. Uh, all parents... Uh, that are listed on the tuition account must be included in the aid application, so you can't leave one or the other off. Families with multiple tuition accounts, uh, or split accounts as we call them, aid will be adjusted based on the amount, amount of tuition that each parent individually is responsible for. Okay, so when are you going to know if you are going to receive financial aid. Uh, so if you do not qualify for aid, we're going to get you a relatively quick answer. You'll be notified within two weeks of the completed application. If your application is completed by April 1st and you do qualify, you'll be notified by May 15th, 
via email explaining your aid and the required volunteer hours. Now, why don't you know until May? Well, we we take that time between between April 1st and May 15th, and, and we eva evaluate all of the aid requests in total and det determine what percentage of that need we are going to meet. So that's sort of a critical period for us to evaluate um, all of the aid requests. Now, uh, just a quick aside, the funding for our financial aid program comes from donations, uh, an annual fundraiser, and then uh, our operating budget actually covers the majority of the aid requests. In case you were wondering, well, where does this money come from? It comes from those three, th three sources, donations, fundraisers, and uh, our internal operating budget. So what if you miss the financial aid deadline? Are you out of luck at that point? No. Applications completed after April 1st are subject to funds that are remaining available in the pool. So that's why we encourage you to hit that deadline of April 1st, but if you don't, there's generally still funds left in the pool and you, you could and, and likely would be eligible if you can demonstrate your need. Now, you do have to apply annually for financial aid. Just because you receive aid one year does not mean uh, that it automatically renews. We know financial situations change from year to year. And finally, um, financial aid applications stay open until March 1st. So you, you do have until March 1st, which is deep into the school year, to finish your application. All right, so do you have to pay financial aid back? The answer is no. However, we do require volunteer hours for all families receiving aid. This helps to fund our program. Uh, additionally, we do have a variety of different places to serve. We have a variety of different events. We have our thrift store, our shield store, and there's some opportunities in our development area as well. So we'll get you plenty of opportunities, hopefully, uh, to perform your hours. Those hours must be completed by March, and any incomplete hours are billed back to the tuition account in April. So we do take this very seriously um, in terms of billing back your account for any incomplete hours. All right, how much tuition is covered by financial aid? Well, that varies year to year, but historically, 30 to 35 percent of that need that we discussed prior is covered uh, by, by Faith Lutheran. The maximum amount uh, for 2021 was 46.50. For 21-22, it's likely to be closer to 47.50 or 4,800 would be the max. So that still leaves a minimum of, of in the neighborhood of eight or nine thousand uh, dollars for you to cover if you were to receive the max. Now, financial aid is distributed according to your installment plan. So, hypothetically, if you were to receive $46.50, uh, we would not give it to you all up front. If you chose 10 installments, we would give you $465 a month for 10 months. And lastly, failure to be awarded financial aid is not grounds for reimbursement of the application fees. All right, this next slide, uh, well, that's... That's just a picture of my dogs. It's not really, really relevant to anything. I, hey, I just love my dogs. I don't know what to tell you. So, <laughs> but, but anyway, if you have questions or if you have further questions, I would direct you to the faithlutheranlv.org website. Go to the admissions tab, then tuition and financial aid. You, at that site, you're going to see our financial policies are there. All of these slides will be there frequently asked questions, as well as that aid application we just discussed. If you want to contact me, my, e my email is preferred at al.sicilino at flhsemail.org. Uh, my phone number in the office is 702-804-4416. I, uh, I want to thank you all for joining us here for this financial aid and tuition presentation. I wish, wish, you, wish you the very best in the upcoming school year, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks again.